Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hubbycraft Season 6 with me, a false symmetry. Today, we're working on a brand new project. As you can see here, look, I've already sort of started planning things out because I wasn't sure if this was the area we were going to work on or not. But yes, today I am super inspired and excited about working on a different theme. Not that I have been really working on the fantasy theme over there. You can see my base from afar. I actually had someone in the comments the other day in the last video or the video before that, I can't remember, saying, what are those purple buildings there? Like, who built those? I haven't seen them before. And I was like, yeah, like I haven't been over there or working on those for that long that someone has come along and been like, where have those come from? Like, who's are those? Uh, you can also see right now that I am definitely in Phantom Season right now. This is, uh, is it even called Phantom Season? I don't really know. But basically, I'm sure you guys know already, we're, we're, we're killing phantoms, okay? That is the aim of uh, October. Now, I am away for literally about 11, 12 days in October. Like, not able to actually log on the server for those days. Uh, it is... Currently at 54, I've killed 54 phantoms, which is pretty good, honestly. Uh, and I do really, really want to get it to 100 before I go away. Although I do already know that another hermit has already reached 100. Uh, so I'm not going to be the first one to 100, sadly. Nor am I probably going to be the one that's winning. Someone else is sweeping at me. I can hear them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the bow is very, very difficult. I actually think Doc has a better way of doing this. He keeps going at them with a uh, sword because it's kind of laggy and also you can see there the, 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 the sort of arrows are, like bouncing off of them and also it's really really hard to guess where they're going to be. Oh my goodness he just spawned in so many. Is that how they spawn? I haven't actually seen that yet. Oh my goodness there's a lot of them coming at me right now. A lot of them coming at me right now. Oh ho ho! That was some kind of miracle I survived that. <laughs> how many was that? Like five or six at once? That's ridiculous, because they have been almost killing me a lot. Like, a lot. Oh, okay. 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 You're right there, Pig. You, you look just as scared as I am right now. I'm having a bit of trouble with this. This thing that I haven't told you what it is yet. Um, as you guys probably will guess, uh, we are currently in the Pirate District. Now, this over here is also sort of my planning, as you can see. Um, oh, let's see if we can land on here. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna get phantoms knock us off, but hey. So that over there um, is obviously going to be the pirate station. Uh, you can see these white lines here. This is gonna be the railway sort of going towards that, and then it'll go off all the way into the fantasy district, past my base, over to the fantasy station over there. Oh, I heard them. I heard something. I was like, something's happening. Oh, I thought being high up might help me. Oh my goodness, that scared me so much there. <gasps> Dude. Oh, I thought when they swoop, if you if you if you're like dropping, they won't won't hit you, but they they apparently will. Ha ha! Got them all. What's that? Sixty four. Perfect. I got a stack of phantoms. Oh, that's a great episode title, but sadly, sadly, probably not the name of this one. Anyway, right. So that's the phantoms dealt with. It is now daytime. I might try and sleep if the other hermits are okay with it. The next few nights, just so that I don't have to deal with them. Right now, uh, I'm just making up some torches because the area is quite dark around here and I do want to do a bit of lighting up when it's next night time. So yes, this building here I should probably explain. Firstly, uh, the actual size of this thing is fairly big. In fact, it's pretty much exactly the same size as this square over here because originally this building here was meant to be for the station, but then it sort of turned out to be quite house-like and I don't think the station should really look house-like. I mean, yeah, it's a pirate station. That wouldn't look like a, a house, would it? It would either be sort of cave-like or, I don't know, just basically not a building is, is my thinking on that. So yeah, I decided to actually bring it over here uh, and I marked out with some cobblestone the corners and then I started planning where all of the sort of structure will be. This is something I like to do. When I when I start planning something in creative mode, when I sort of transfer it over to Minecraft, I work out where the front is and then I work out where, uh, and this works for houses when you've got them sort of with, um, I guess, pillars. So like usually logs. Uh, this we're using strip logs for. Uh, but yeah, I usually sort of like to, you know, plan it out. So these, these tall, two tall ones here, 
here, here and here are sort of the corners of the, of the main house. Uh, we're then going to have a sort of uh, under, like sort of outdoor area, but with roof on top on this little bit here in this little rectangle. Um, and I think that's sort of going on at here as well, although I keep forgetting. I think there's a little tiny roof here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do, I do want to explain that actually this house uh, that I've designed already, or at least the, the bones of, um, I actually decided to uh, look up some inspiration and I got it from uh, a game called Sea of Thieves. If you guys haven't seen Sea of Thieves, it's basically a really, really cool uh, pirate game uh, that myself and some of the hermits have played as well. Uh, myself, Iskull, Ren, and Stress Monster all uh, did some uh, did a live stream of that on on it like ages ago. But yeah, it's a game that I really really love the art style of. It is pirate themed, and I literally searched uh, pirate house or something or pirate building, and loads of Sea of Thieves images came up. So uh, this house is going to be particularly based on. I think they call it the parchment shop or the parchment house. Uh, that particular design I sort of tried to recreate in Minecraft, so it's been really, really interesting to sort of attempt that. I don't think I've ever like brought something straight and directly into Minecraft. But anyway, as you can see, I've got a lot of sort of building to do. Let me get the main structure going, and um, once I've got sort of the first level planned out and where everything's going, we will then start building it up even taller and we'll try and get at least the majority of this done. Maybe not the details, but the main structure for sure. And of course, it starts raining. Great. So guys, something odd has happened. It is not only raining, it is actually thundering and lightning. Now I know the video quality turns to absolute poop when that happens, but there's something that I haven't had the chance to use yet and it's in either one of those chests or it's in here. I think it's in here. Yes, guys, so ages ago, I actually got this trident from Doc. Um, we did, oh my goodness, a task for Doc. <laughs> that terrified me. Where the prize was a trident and I got to choose what I wanted on it. Uh, so I've got Riptide 3, Mending, Impaling, and Unbreaking. And, oh my goodness. I think I can use this in the rain to travel, right? <gasps> Dudes! Oh, can I not stay in the air completely? I don't know how this works. <gasps> Guys, I can just like be a... Oh, I can be like a tornado. So if I fly, can I then like right click with this trident and then it'll... <gasps> Dude, this is incredible! Oh, I wish it just like lasted forever. Like, look at that! <gasps> it's so cool! Oh, I need to like... Whoa! I need to like try and like take on some mobs. I wish I had the phantoms right now. That would be fantastic. Uh, the, the server's having some trouble loading with how quick I'm flying right now and probably how many people are online, but my phantoms don't seem to be here right now, which is really sad because I'd love to like try and like slice them with this. Because <laughs> I think that, that actually does quite a lot of damage. Oh, oh, dude. Imagine killing the wither in this as well. That'd be really cool. But um, of course, Ren sleeps. You know what Ren's like. Ren is constantly having a nap. <laughs> that is Ren all over. Uh, anyway, right. Okay, well that was the fun we had. That was it. That's it. Ren, Ren, Ren basically was like, false, you're having too much fun. Stop it. Get back to work. Get building that uh, that pirate house. And um, yeah, he's, he's right. I, sh I really, really should. Otherwise, I won't have enough time to uh, finish it in today's episode. Well, I didn't plan out um, how much uh, birch I would need because I seem to have run out and haven't even finished the first level yet. But you can sort of see where the structure's going. But I believe there is a new shop up and running which should have some super duper cheap logs. What on earth happened there? That was terrible flying on my bar. Blimey, can you not aim false? Like, come on, there's a gap there, big enough the gap that you could fit through, and yet you smash your face on the tree. Well done, very clever. So let's grab the diamonds, and we're gonna quickly go over, and I don't know what it's called, but um, it's some sort of convex vessel of some kind. So we're gonna go see if that has cheaper wood. I've got a feeling it might do. So to my knowledge, Rendog has uh, locks for sale over there, which I did buy the other day. I did buy some. I'm still I'm still technically a customer, but I also came over here to buy some. And I think Rendog is selling them for two diamonds each for a stack. And I think here, see, this is two diamonds for a stack, but this is one diamond per stack. Yeah, you can see I bought some. <laughs> oh, apparently I only bought two stacks. <laughs> no wonder I haven't. Uh, haven't got that many. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna buy another four stacks actually. 
And yes, one loam of her stack, look at that. Oh, it's so good, it's so, so good. Uh, speaking of that though, I've just remembered that I had a message the other day from a, a Mr. Tango Tech asking if my fish were restocked. So speaking of that, we should probably have a quick little peek to see if we've sold fish again. Um, have we sold out? There are cod, there are, there are, yeah, there are puffer fish in there and, oh, did he, did he not want any? I've also put this sign saying custom order message false because uh, if people want a certain type of fish or something like that, uh, I can get it when uh, no one else is online. But <laughs> when people are online, it's obviously very, very difficult to get anything to spawn. But uh, apparently Tango hasn't yet bought anything. Although speaking of that, maybe he just wanted to know if I, you know, was a good business owner. Maybe he wants to like outdo me by selling his own fish. Actually, no, <laughs> scrap that. No one's going to sell their own fish because what a stupid idea that is. My absolutely favourite thing and favourite noise in Minecraft at the moment. Like, how satisfying is this right now? It's, it, it's just so good. So very good. Even the chicken agrees. He's like, yes, false. This is great. Guys, we have a building that doesn't have a roof or walls or a door or windows. Yep, yeah, but we have a building. Uh, a building and that somewhat resembles... Well, I guess a building. Uh, a house of sorts. Um, we have got the structure and I want to have a little look what it's going to look like because the height of this I haven't really thought through. I mean, it's quite difficult at this point in the game where there's literally no one else building around me right now um, to sort of judge because I don't really know like what's going to pop up around here. But look, we've sort of got an arched sort of roof that's that's what we're gonna have we're gonna have a curved roof and the roof's gonna continue that way which is why you've got like a really ridiculously looking uh diagonal line this way but it's sort of going off there uh this up here and all the way around this way and up here is sort of going to be a balcony area so down here it's sort of like a a, a, a bungalow like a, a one floor High, and then this is going to be two floors high. Um, I say bungalow. I don't think Americans have bungalows. Do you guys have? Do you guys use the word bungalow? Bungalow is such a weird word, but uh, I think it's only a British term. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a it's a one floor house is what it means for those that are like, what on earth is false on about? She's making up words as she goes along. Anyway, I'm also getting distracted. Um, so I don't know what to add next. I think the walls. Now the walls, I'm thinking we're just going to go straight with the oak planks and then build like windows out of it. Because uh, obviously that is the best way to build a house um, is to basically just sort of build all of the uh, gubbins first, like, no, <laughs> gubbins is the wrong word, because gubbins usually means sort of like the details and the, 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 the additions that don't really sort of change very much. Uh, I just basically need to make the framework, that's the word I want, framework. Uh, and once you sort of get the walls in, you can sort of see where like doorways will go, where windows should go, where everything should go, I think. So let's quickly finish up the, uh, this, this sort of floor with this and see what it looks like because I think just even with this super super basic and you guys can do this too if you build a framework that you quite like and you think you know has potential just sort of like you know add the add the logs and the wood I guess I sort of do already have a doorway that's going to be the door there I think because I wanted it to be underneath the the, the balcony here uh, let's quickly add one more little layer of uh, logs or planks and then have a little bit of a flyby and yeah, I mean, you can see way, way, way easier to sort of how it's going to work. Yeah, so you see this area and this area, you know, is a big open area with just sort of no walls, which is cool. Uh, and the door's going to be here. And it's going to be a decent size as well. Yeah, this is going to look very, very cool indeed. I'm looking forward to it. So let me do that uh, on the second layer and we'll see if we can sort of add, start adding some, you know, actual sort of details to this and some, some windows and some... Some stuff like that. That'd be very, very cool indeed. Well, it's starting to look even better. Um, and I really, really do like it right now. Like, I can just sort of start picturing what this is going to look like. Yeah. Now, I guess it sort of does look a weird shape, but sort of when I think about the roof sort of coming off the edge there and the roof coming down here, and I sort of... Like, this is where the balcony is going to be. The balcony is going to have to be one block higher. I did plan on moving this up one, but it's just going to be too tall if I do that. And I don't want it to be too crazy. So I'm thinking 
Instead, we move the uh, the balcony up to this level, and then perhaps just to sort of make it a little bit more subtle, I've run out of oak logs. Dang it! Where are my oak logs at? Where are they at? I'm gonna have to buy more oak too, aren't I? No, I no, no, no. I've got plenty. It's all good. But yeah, so we're gonna grab loads and loads of slabs. I'm hoping that we're gonna use these. <laughs> Well, they're saying that. I mean, the wood is so cheap to buy at the moment in the shops that it doesn't really matter if I waste any. But, uh, yeah, as you can sort of see what I've done here, I've sort of started just building it with uh, up with um, slabs. Now, the reason I'm using slabs is because that means that inside, if I want the slabs to be the ceiling, uh, I basically give myself a little bit more room, uh, sort of like ceiling height. I mean, I, I can always swap them out as well. But slabs are just going to be so much easier to like tweak. Like if I don't like it, I can just sort of, I don't know. It's it's, it's a lot less waste. I'm also going to just chuck that there in the hopes that that works. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I mean, it looks okay up here. I don't know what that looks like underneath. Although what we can do is probably do some sort of beam work perhaps here. Because that's, that's what these are, beams. I, I called them pillars earlier. I guess they sort of are pillars too. But you can sort of see, I think we're going to end it there because otherwise it's going to meet up with the roof, and that would be very odd. But yeah, I think that right there is the... I mean, it doesn't look any different. But underneath here, though, you can start seeing... Yeah, that looks nice, and I might have to make those full blocks, which is which is fine. Those are, like, little details that will tweak. And I'm thinking, also, we should probably expand it a little bit. Add, like, maybe a, a lip on the end. Yeah, because... Oh, wait, because then we can move the fence posts to that. And then we'll have a really like large balcony. I mean that could work. Let's have let's have a quick little flyby and see what happens. <laughs> Renner slept again. I think he's scared of phantoms or something. He just is constantly sleeping. He must be working on something. Oh yeah, we need to add a roof, because otherwise this side's gonna just look weird. But this side, I mean also looks weird because it doesn't have a roof either. Also, also this uh, this cobblestone pillar is just sort of the height of this building. Uh I like, I like to do that, like I've done that there, just to sort of picture how tall a building is, because, yeah, sometimes, you know, you, like, if you're not sure, like, if a building's going to be too big for an area, like, build the, the, the perimeter of it, and then build, like, a pillar to, like, how tall it's going to be, and that, then, sort of, it helps you picture, sort of, how something's going to look, in the most basic way possible. I mean, obviously, building more framework like this um, helps, but, you know. You, you don't have time to do all that. Come on now. Uh, so yeah, now we're up here. We can actually start building the framework of this bit too. Although well, I don't want to... Wait, this, is, this could be the doorway. Well, that could be the... No, that could be the doorway. Okay. <laughs> and then what we'll do... We'll pop out this, uh, this cobblestone here. Yeah, and we'll make this the wall. Aha! Uh -huh. And then maybe we'll add like a window in that too. Sweet! Uh, so that's every single wall except for that one, but that will be the roof. So there's a big diagonal roof there. Oh, I think on the uh, the Sea of Thieves design, there's a window in the roof there. So that would be awesome if we can get that to work to look out at that view. There's a tree in the way at the moment, but we can always change that. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking how this is going. So I'm just going to, I think, poke out some windows. So like here is going to be a window. Maybe like here can be a window, a double wide window. And maybe the same on the other side. I'm really, really struggling to decide if I want a spruce roof or a jungle wood roof. Jungle wood is not something I would usually have with this because it's quite a pink tone. But because the design I'm going off of has that pink tone and it's it gives me quite a beach, beachy vibe, I think I might go for it anyway. We can always change out the roof later when you guys tell me it's rubbish. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead, guys. And you know what? Doing the roof and the windows, let's roll that time lapse. Go, we've got a roof on, which is so uh, looking pretty okay, actually. Pretty okay. We've got a little friend down here as well who's been chilling underneath the uh, <laughs> underneath the awning here, and uh, yeah, he's been enjoying himself. He's, he's just been chilling down there the whole time while I've been up there. Um, yeah, so all the only thing I haven't done is uh, like any windows or anything like that upstairs. I've sort of like poked them out here. Oh, 
Hmm. Do we actually want to weigh up on the outside? I didn't actually think about a ladder on the outside. That could definitely be a possibility. I mean, that could be a possibility for now. I might quickly pop that out of there. And uh, just use this little area here as a way up. Uh, speaking of way up, I need to add a few more slabs. I keep like running out of uh, slabs and stuff. It's so difficult to make the correct amount of anything when you're building in Minecraft. You always need to have extra resources at hand so you can finish the, finish the job. Stripped birch logs are pretty much the same colouring as birch logs. I mean, maybe a full one's too much, but... We could definitely make some slabs, which I'm making terribly. Look at that. There we go. I'm a professional crafter, me. Uh, we could definitely sort of add some more structure by adding like areas like this. I mean, that was awful placement there. But, like, that doesn't look half bad, does it? Oh, do I have fireworks on me? There we go. Like, I bet that from far away. Like, looks exactly like that. That, that, that just looks great, actually. That works really well. I am worried about how pale this whole building is currently though. Like I do want to, I don't know. I mean, if I finish this building and it looks a bit naff and a bit too pastely, then I will add some, like I'm gonna add some spruce, I think with fences and things like that to bring some sort of darker colors in. I'm, I could even actually, speaking of that, could even add some spruce perhaps in the walls, perhaps. Maybe the lower level could be dark, the top level could be light. I'm not really sure yet, I haven't. I'm not quite sold on the whole thing yet. So I've been thinking about the uh, this part here, the sort of, I guess, roofs under here. And I, I mentioned beams, thinking about adding more of these, but I think there's already enough stripped, uh, stripped birch logs. So I'm thinking instead, we could actually make this work with planks. Now there's obviously just a, a lot of oak in here as well, but I've, I think I've got a plan for that also. Maybe maybe uh, something I will add next episode, because I think this is going to be a two episode uh, as I am pre-recording. I hope you guys don't mind that. Usually I would just get on with it. I would build this whole thing, uh, interior and all, in one episode. But, you know, got to gotta spread it out. I don't want to, don't wanna, you know, do too much or, you know, rush it or anything like that. Um, and yeah, like, honestly, adding those windows... Adding those strips there with the with the slabs has made the world of difference. Oh, I bet there's one more thing that would add an absolute world of difference. If we start adding the fences. Now, the fences, I think we're going to do spruce. So, I think I've already got... Well, I've got one spruce fence in there. Have I got any other spruce fences? I bought loads and loads of stone thinking I would use it, but I haven't. So, <laughs> let's hope that won't make anything look better. Uh, and that I've just sort of missed out on using that. Okay, that should be more than enough. So we should be able to still get up on this side over here. And there we go. And I'm thinking what we do is on this very, very edge here, we add both fences to sort of add some structure. Uh, otherwise, they're just sort of floating. And also gates. So let's also add another fence post here to sort of split it up a little bit. And then maybe along these edges, maybe we'll just go straight fences. And then on this side, maybe we'll go with gates again. And again, on this little bit here, add another fence. I think this is actually just going to make it look a little bit, a little bit better. We've obviously run out there, but that should give us an idea as to how that's going to look. Yeah, wait, that looks quite good, but that makes me want to put more dark colours in this. I don't know, I'm going to let you guys comment down below. Um, if you don't usually comment, please do comment on this. I would love to see as many comments as possible about... What you think so far about this? Is it too pale? Can you see potential? Is there like, do you reckon I could add enough detail in like various colors that it would work? Maybe the terrain needs doing? Maybe that's a big thing. I reckon with trees around this and stuff, it would look better. I don't know what kinds of trees. Do we go with palm trees? I mean, I think there are some palm trees over by Scar. Now I have an idea about how to build palm trees myself. Oh yeah, he's got these, uh, yeah, he's got these ones that are quite droopy, which look very realistic, but might be a bit a bit wild for me. I think maybe we'll go with the different... I'm guessing there are different breeds of palm tree, right? There are different types of palm tree, probably. Yeah, so I think we're going to go with uh, jungle wood, because I think even with stripped oak, oak uh, jungle wood logs, you can still add cocoa beans to them. So we're going we're gonna to go with jungle wood. Just, it, it'll make them a bit pinker, but... 
it will work. And then, uh, yeah, I always go with jungle leaves, although these look quite good. Yeah, they're very good. But um, yeah, we'll try something different, perhaps. Although, we're definitely gonna sort of pinch some inspiration from those palm trees there to see if we can build them over here. Yeah, look, like, that looks very good. It sort of looks like it should be on stilts a little bit, though. And that maybe I should have built it sort of over the over the river a little bit. That sort of annoys me a little bit because I reckon that could look very good. Especially this bit. Imagine if those were long stilts. Oh, that would look really good. I mean, I could terraform this down to become like a bit of a beach on a river, which would be weird, but I don't really know. Also, I don't know what's going on here. I guess I've missed a bit. <laughs> anyway, let me see if I can add any more touches, but uh, the rest might need to be done in the next episode. Well, I think I've been rambling and building for long enough. We're actually going to head off and take a quick last look at this build. It looks okay. Let's let's see it from sort of over here. Let's sort of see what it's going to look like when we're flying over towards it. You can't actually see it from over here, which is kind of nice. There's also someone flying over there. Oh my, you actually have quite a, like a straight view of it. And you know what? From far away, once it's got like some trees and other stuff around it, I think it'll work. I mean, it doesn't quite go with Cleo's thing here, but I guess that's sort of the idea. Um, you know, nothing's gonna match, right? Although, wait, what's that? I've just thought. And this is this is a bad thing I've just thought about. Wasn't there like block color schemes or like block palettes for certain themes and certain districts? There probably was, wasn't there? And I've just like just just. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I mean, I guess I can look at it and see if these blocks are in it at all. <laughs> but I haven't looked in the slightest, have I? Oh, that's really bad of me. I feel bad. Like, have other hermits been doing that? Because I have completely forgotten about that. Yeah, so I don't know how I feel about this now. But guys, I'll I'll I'll, I'll read the comments and uh, we'll make any changes to this um, that you guys leave down below. But yeah, I was just actually, just actually a. Uh, going AFK in the little house there while it was night time because I got fed up with phantom hunting and um, they were disturbing me building and I was actually watching TFC's latest video that I don't know would have been a few episodes back probably by now but uh, he is in desperate need oh blimey in desperate need of some blaze rods and I thought I would maybe go get him some if he still got the payment in here now the payment isn't really what I'm interested in. I don't really want these diamonds. But it is one stack of blaze rods equals two diamonds. Which, by the way, is kind of, a, I think, personally. Especially since in his ender chest he has these three filled with diamond blocks. That is not going to get anybody getting you stacks of blaze rods. But I will go into the nether and kill a few blazes with my looting sword. And... We'll, we'll see if we can get him a few so that he can get started with uh, I think he wants to use uh, to make some potions. So I thought I would do my good deed of the day, head into the nether and kill some blazes for him, and uh, and then we'll leave them at his base somewhere, perhaps. So luckily uh, Biff has now a, uh, a nice path over to here, and I, I know the blaze farm is somewhere, or blaze spawner is somewhere nearby. I always lose it though, it's somewhere around here, it's not through there, is it this way? No, I think it's over by that portal over there. But yeah, it just means it's loads quicker to get here. So TFC could probably come here himself if he follows Biffa's path. It is just very, very difficult to actually find the blaze spawner itself. Is it in this building? I have no idea. I'm just going to run around until I find it, I guess. I think it is through here. I think it's this bit here. No? Is it not this bit here? Come on now. It was definitely somewhere around here. And I've lost it already. Well, stuff the spawner. I've found some blaze. <laughs> there's, there's quite a few down here, in fact. This is actually probably a bad idea, going for them like this. They get set on fire. Or not. It's pretty good. There are some skelly bobs too. Oh, there we go. Six. Perfect. Okay, so let's maybe see if we can get half a stack if we can. But unless we find the farm, I don't actually think, or the spawner, I don't think we're actually going to be get, getting that many at all. It's quite difficult to to get them to spawn with so many people online right now. So it's going to be tricky. And also, <laughs> we seem to have a friend back here that's going to make things even trickier if we uh, get too close. 
right, I have the blaze rods and we're gonna be giving him 32 of them, which definitely, I mean, that's more than enough. Like, if you, if you think about it, you get two blaze powders, um, which would be six, um, six potions per blaze rod, basically, I think, if my maths is correct, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't make, um, I don't make potions all that often, but yeah, this is, uh, TFC's base down here, he's got lots of things going on, lots of little farms and nooks and crannies, but we're not gonna take too much of an explore, uh, I wanted to see if I could find a, find a chest so I could put this in a, what happened there? Is he online? Hello? Uh, right, yeah, let's just make a ch- oh no, you know what, I've got- I've got- I've got wood on me! Sorry, I thought I had like an inventory that was clear. I usually do. <laughs> I usually don't have this sort of stuff on me. So we've got that, and I can probably make a sign as well, if I can chuck some stuff on the floor. Apologies, TFC, I'm making a little bit of a mess here. But we're gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna make signs and- you can have some coal, there you go. And I'll just chuck it here so that he should be able to see this. Uh, and we'll just put some, uh, some blaze rods for you, TFC. Fox, there we go, that'll, that'll do. And then we'll just chuck the, uh, the blaze rods in there and then we'll chuck a, a, a gunpowder in the middle. Cause yeah, then I can pick up this stuff. <laughs> there we go, okay, cool. Yeah, that, that was that was cool. So, um, yeah, he should have enough to get him started. I think, I actually don't know 100% what he wants it for, because uh, I think I missed the video prior to, to that one. But anyway, uh, this video is probably coming out way after he's seen it, so there's no need for you guys to uh, to go and tell him. I'm sure he's already uh, had it, and I don't want him to spam his comments with uh, false celebrities and blaze rods, uh, when I'm sure he, by this point he would have seen it, because I'm pre-recording, as always. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me some comments about this uh, this building and what you think, and uh, I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.